Rates and unit conversions are in every test topic. It's important to know and frankly, set them up. Some people can just see these and do these problems, and that's wonderful if you can. A lot of people can't. So setup is absolutely crucial. Let's first talk about rates. Rates are fractions. Miles per hour is miles over hours. The per is a dividing line. You could also say the ratios. Per is a dividing line. So when you deal with unit conversions, keep that in mind because that's going to be really helpful. Now, there's a couple ways that are shown in the book. I'm going to focus on dimensional analysis because I think that's the most um, straightforward way to approach these problems. And I think it's a way to do it that really removes all the thinking. Because other ways to approach this, you still have to kind of see how the parts work together. Remember, the more you can automate things, the better off you'll be. And you can use those units to guide you to a correct answer. Now, on the bottom of the screen, I didn't use an ACT example this time because I want to focus instead on actually doing this problem through dimensional analysis. So if you don't know, dimensional analysis is a way to do unit conversions. Those of you who have had chemistry or physics um, have done this. You may not like it. And hey, if you don't want to use it, that's up to you. But I, th I would encourage you to at least try it out. Take it for a spin. You'll notice that the problem we have down at the bottom doesn't really look like a unit's conversion problem because it's not talking about miles per gallon or uh, pounds uh, per load or something like that. It's talking about Instagram posts. They like to do that from time to time. They like to hide unit conversion problems and things we don't think of as unit conversions. So, when you're doing dimensional analysis, you have to get things to cancel out. We start with posts. That's the thing that we've got, the unit, the number. And then we're looking for hours. So, we want to cancel everything but hours. So, I've got posts here, right? And I've got that. That's a solid number. A solid number, no other unit. I like to start there. You don't have to makes 1.5 posts per day. Okay, I want to get rid of posts, so post needs to go down here, and that puts days at the top. We'll talk about why they get rid of each other in a minute. Spends an average of two hours per week. Okay, so it uh, looks like I need to figure out how many days are in a week, because I'm running out of stuff, and they don't tell me how to get to days to week. And that happens, by the way. You, you, sometimes you need to know how many minutes are an hour, how many days in a week. Thing. So I can say one week, and I'm going to put that on top because I want days to cancel. It's seven days. It looks like I need one more part. Two hours per week. So weeks go on the bottom, hours on the top. Now, look what happens. See, the way this works is I multiply straight across, multiply straight across, and then divide. Now. You don't really have to do all that and then all that, but um, that's the way it's classically explained. Just don't flip things around. Now, this method is designed to keep you from flipping things around or messing up what goes with what right away because of the way the units cancel. So you can think of this, I'm dividing posts by posts. So the post unit will go away, right? The day's unit will go away. The week's unit will go away. So let's go ahead and fill in the numbers. We have 100 posts. We have an average of 1.5 posts per day. Oops, that's one day on top. 1.5 on the bottom. One week is seven days. And she spends an average of two hours for one week. So multiply straight across. 100 times 1, 100. Times 1, 100. Times 2 is 200. 200, not 2,000. 1 and a half times 7 is 10.5. And then we divide those. 200 divided by 
is 19 and a little bit of change. 19.04. That's how this works. Now, while this isn't an ACT example, I did pick one that has a lot of units, right? About one, two, three, four units. That's in bounds. You can see four units, you can see three units, you can see two units if it's part of a different kind of problem. This is uh, uh, something that you're going to see in conjunction with other stuff, particularly in pre algebra, pretty often. Set it up. I mean, it is just as simple as that. I have really, really, really great math students who routinely miss these because they don't set them up. They just try to power their way through. Don't do that. Don't make that mistake. Spend a little time on it. Remember, each question counts the same. And by the way, these can be really hard. Don't let them confuse you. Don't let them slow you down. Spend the time on it. Be thorough. Build your confidence.